Hello, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up your very own Minecraft Bedrock server hosted on your own server or PC. First of all, why should you set up your own server? Having your own server is nice because you and your friends can play on a world together at any time anybody wants to without having to pay for anything. You could set up a realm, however, you do not get as much control over a realm as you would with your own dedicated server and you do not have to pay a dime for your own server as long as you already have a PC. And lastly, you should set up your own server because it is so easy to do. To get started, go to the Bedrock Server download link in the description. Once you're here, choose the Windows Server software for Windows. Agree to the Minecraft EULA and use your license agreement and the privacy poly, and then hit download. After it's done downloading, close Chrome and open your file explorer. Navigate to your C drive or wherever else you want to keep your Minecraft folder. Create a new folder, call it something along the lines of Minecraft server folder, and hit enter. Once you have this folder created, go to your downloads folder and you'll see your folder that has your Minecraft Bedrock server. Right click this and hit extract all. Hit the browse button. Go to the folder that you just created for your server, choose it, select folder, and hit extract. Wait for this to complete. Once your folder is done extracting, it should automatically open up. If not, navigate to the folder that you created and open it. First, let's set up the settings for your server. Open the server.properties folder. If it asks you what to open it with, choose the notepad. Here in the server.properties file, you see several options, all of which control your server. The first thing we're going to start with is the server name. I'm going to name it Kyler's Super Cool Minecraft Server. Next, you can choose your game mode. I'm going to keep it on survival. You can also change the force game mode value, which can be true or false, and that just makes it to where nobody can go into creative if you have this set to survival. Next, I'm going to keep my difficulty on easy, and the for allow cheats, I'm going to turn this to true. What this lets me do is it lets me use commands to control the server. For max players, I'm going to change it to 15. Change this based on how powerful you think your computer is and how many players you think you'd be playing on your server. Online mode, keep that to true. Allow list, you can use that to have a whitelist on your server. I'm just going to keep that to false. Server port, 19132, keep track of that number. You'll need it later when you're port forwarding. View distance, the default is 32, but I'm going to set it to 16 since a few players will be on my server mostly all the time at the same time. Tick distance, we can keep the 4. Player idle timeout, that can set to 30. Max threads, you can keep that to 8. For the level name, that will just be the folder name that the server creates of your world. I'm going to keep that to bedrock level. For the level seed, I changed mine to this. Usually it's blank, but I'm using this because this is a world that my friend likes. For default player permission level, you can keep that to member. Basically, the rest of these settings you can keep the same. Choose file, save as, and hit save. It'll ask if you want to replace it, hit yes. Close that out. After you set up all the settings, next we need to port forward. Port forwarding varies from router to router, so look up your model on exactly how to do so. When asked for the port number you want to forward, choose 19132 which is the port that we found in the server.properties file. If you happen to have a Cox router, then you can follow along with me. If not, skip to the time on screen. When you're ready for the Cox app, open it and sign in if you haven't already. Once you are in the app, go to the Connect tab and choose your Wi-Fi name. Under More, choose Advanced Settings and add a port forward. Hit Continue. Under the Select Device, choose your computer. Mine's KMC Desktop PC. Leave manual setup alone and under the port number put in 19132. That's going to be your port. The TCP UDP protocol you can keep the same. Hit next and it'll add the port forward. 
Once the port forward is added, hit close. You should be all done. Next, after you have port forward, go to whatismyipaddress.com. This link will also be in the description. What you're looking for is your IPv4 address. It should be a set of four numbers. Take note of this number here. This will be the number that you give to your friends for them to be able to connect to your Minecraft server. Next, go back to your Minecraft folder and open the bedrock underscore server.exe file. This is the file that actually runs your server. What you want to do is choose private networks and also public networks to make sure that it will work with your computer and your network setup. Hit allow access. What that does is allows your friends to connect to your server. As you can see here, the server has started. The level name is Bedrock Level, which is just the world name. The game mode is survival. The difficulty is easy. It opens the world folder that you created. The IPv4 is supported. The port is 19132, which is what we set up. And it just says that the server started. Next, you can go to Minecraft. Once you are in Minecraft, hit play, servers, add server, name it whatever you want to, and put in the IP address of your computer if you are playing on your computer. In my case, it's 192.168.0.200. The port, that's the same port number as everything else before, so you can keep that the same. Now you should be able to hit play. It'll locate the server. And there we go. We spawned into our Minecraft server. Next, I'm gonna show you how to connect to it with your phone. Once you are in Minecraft, hit play, servers, scroll down to the bottom, add server, into the server name is whatever you want to. And for the IP address, what you want to do is put in, and this is what you'll tell your friends to do, is put in that IP address that you got from whatismyipaddress.com. Your port number should stay the same. Hit play, give it a minute to locate the server, and now you're back onto your world. As you can see here, from when I was playing on desktop, since I'm signed into the same account, I can play on the same world with the same stuff. This is nice because if you want to play on desktop for a better experience, you can play there, or if you want to go on the go, you can play on your phone, playing on the same world. I also recommend to select your bedrock underscore server .exe file and hit pin to taskbar. That way it'll stay on your taskbar and you can open it whenever you like. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any of this, or for some reason something isn't working, feel free to email me at getkylershelp at gmail.com, which will also be in the description. Thanks.